What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today you're joining me with my 2023 Tesla Model Y and we're going to be talking about my favorite floor mats for Model Y and for every vehicle on the market. Just a quick note here before we dive into the video, 3D Mats did provide these mats to me at no charge to review. Uh, however, I would have purchased these mats myself for this vehicle if they hadn't, and I have purchased previous sets of these mats for other vehicles, uh, and this is not a sponsored video, and 3D Mats had no input on the editing or anything of this video. They've not reviewed this ahead of time, so now back to the video. As I mentioned, we're here with my 2023 Tesla Model Y. I made quite a few videos on it. If you haven't checked them out before, definitely go to my channel, check them out, subscribe if you haven't already. But today we're going to be talking about floor mats. So these are the factory Tesla floor mats, just carpet ones that come with every Tesla that has premium interior, so not the base Model 3. That actually doesn't come with any floor mats. Here we have the 3D mats Kagu all-weather liner. And before you yell at me for putting these on my paint, this is not directly on my paint because I have Steck Dino Prism on the vehicle, so it's a PPF, so it's not actually scratching anything. Or if it scratches the PPF, well, it's self-healing. So not concerned, even though the bottoms of uh, floor mats can be a bit rough. So don't yell at me for that. We're also going to be looking at how those fit in the car for each of these. These are the 3D mats Kagu all-weather mats, as I mentioned. These ones are my personal favorite, uh, but 3D Mats actually has come out fairly recently, or maybe not actually all that recently, with a new elegant all-weather liner. So these actually are carpet, but with more protection uh, and a more fitted form factor than the typical carpet floor mat like what comes with the vehicle. Not going to be swapping all of them for every position, um, but we're gonna be talking about the different materials and then also cargo liners. So let's start with the factory floor mat. I'm gonna put it in and then you're gonna join me and I'll show you how well it fits. And before we put the floor mat in, this is an Austin, Texas built Tesla Model Y uh, with the 4680 structural battery pack. So it has a little bit different sills here than you may see in uh, typical Model Ys or in other Tesla models. Um, but they have these floor mats for all the different models. So don't be concerned by that. Uh, I am going to be putting some links down below with a discount code and an affiliate link. So uh, if this video helps you and you find these mats to be useful and you want to purchase a set, well, I'd appreciate it if you buy through that link because it does help out the channel and doesn't cost you anything more. So there's no downside to using that link. But let's go ahead and put in the factory floor mat. This is just on the passenger side. And of course, it's kind of going to going to be kind of applicable for all of the positions, but we'll start here. I'll join you in just a second once I put that in. So here we have the included factory Tesla carpet floor mat. Uh, pretty darn basic, fits pretty well as I'd expect for a factory floor mat. Uh, if it didn't fit well, that'd be a problem. Um, but has little Velcro on the bottom to hold it in place, but only uh, kind of on the corners here. So the rest is textured and kind of holds it in place by friction, but there's only Velcro on the edges uh, and there's not actually Velcro on the top. So what I see pretty commonly, especially in like uh, Teslas that are used for Uber or Lyft or whatever, a lot of times these will be flopped over uh, if this has gotten wet or dirty and gets a little heavier and then it'll flop over and then this just leaves that completely exposed. So definitely not ideal in that regard. They're okay, they have protect the actual carpet of the car itself. You can pull these out, uh, I guess you could vacuum them, maybe pressure wash them, but I wouldn't wanna get these covered in like sand or dirt or mud uh, or like road salt if you're in a northern state in the winter. So they're okay, they serve the very basic purpose of protecting the vehicle, but certainly uh, not the most protective. So next we're going to go to the 3D Mats Elegant Carpet Mat because I'd say that's the next step up in protection, and then we'll go to the all-weather, uh, my personal favorite. So a key feature of the 3D mats is they have this Max Biter, uh kind of surface on the bottom. Uh, it's kind of hard to show or really describe, but basically it's, it's not quite Velcro, but it's a pretty kind of a, not abrasive, but friction-inducing, if you will, uh, surface that helps keep these mats in place against the factory carpet. So I'm gonna put this in and then I'll kind of show you how that sh works in reality. So there we have the 3D mats elegant carpet mat installed. Uh, you can actually see that it's a little bit richer black carpet than the factory carpet or 
it's more like a felt realistically on Teslas these days than it is a carpet, whereas this is more of a carpet type surface, but kind of a low pile, so it's not gonna collect too much dirt. Um, but you can see how it's in place. You can kind of shift it a little bit. It doesn't move. I mean, it can still peel up a little bit, but because you have it come up the edges here, uh, it's less likely to fold over. Uh, it's also going to kind of trap all that dirt rather than kind of just falling off the edges. Uh, but I think these are a really nice mat, especially if in your or if you're in a more mild climate like California or Arizona or something like that, or if you just really don't ever go kind of off pavement, I guess. Um, but I think the Kagu mats that I'm going to show next, the all weather mats, those are my personal favorite because they're a little bit easier to clean. Uh, these you can vacuum, uh, you could pull out, you could kind of scrub with the brush and soap and stuff, but they're just not going to be quite as easy to clean as the Kago mats, just being that these are carpet rather than a more non-porous surface like the Kago mat. So just a matter of personal preference and your use case, but these are a great option if you do want to have carpet, but also have a bit more protection. So let's pull this out. We'll swap to the Kago mat, and then we'll also talk about the cargo liners that I have back there. So here's the Kago mat, as they call it. Uh, so it's kind of a soft foam-ish surface, uh, but it kind of has a little bit of a texture to it, so it can kind of hold some sand. And these mats have actually been in the car for about 10,000 miles now. I had these actually right before I took delivery, so these were in there basically immediately after I shot my video that many of you guys have watched, uh, which was showing everything that's included with the Model Y. Uh, and of course, these aftermarket mats are not included, so you'll see a few little scuffs and things like that. I've only vacuum these. I've never pulled these out and uh, scrubbed them with cleaner or anything like that. They could probably use it at this point and then they'll clean up and look brand new. But just like the elegant carpet mats, they have that same material on the backside, the Max Spider coating uh, that holds them in place. Uh, and passengers, I would say, are a little bit less careful than I am in my own car. So the fact that it looks this nice still uh, after 10,000 miles with tons of different passengers uh, shows how well these clean up. So these are my personal favorite. So let's kind of go around. I'll show you the driver's side as well. And it's worth noting that with the elegant carpet mat on the driver's side, uh, there's actually a little portion here near the pedals that gives you a little bit more durable section. So that way you're not wearing into the carpet like you might be with the factory carpet mat. And it looks just like that on the driver's side Kagu mat. And these look actually a lot more black than they do in the video. Um, just being that they are a little dirty at the moment, could use a vacuum and a scrub, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So these little bins, I'll put a link as well. They're super handy. Uh, they look factory-ish, but they're not. But here's the driver's side, goes all the way up the dead pedal, um, which on modern Teslas is not actually a dead pedal, but you can see just how well it holds everything in place there. So you definitely want to protect that. And some mats, they actually kind of cut off right there. And then when you have your foot there, it just drains anything that's on your shoe just right onto the carpet. So really like that this goes all the way up. I do wish it went a little bit more on the side here. So that way, if you kind of lean your foot over, it could protect it. But I don't think there's really any mats on the market that do that. But there we have it. Coming back to the rear here. Uh, again, passengers are a little bit more careless than I am. So you can see it's protected that quite well. And then this is a test camp fridge, so I can put a just link for that as well. Haven't fully tested that quite yet, so I don't know if I can recommend it, but so far it's going well. Uh, I just haven't given it enough attention yet to give it my stamp of approval. We'll go back here. So these are the rear seat uh, seat back protectors. So these are really nice if you fold down all your seats uh, and you want to have protection for uh, the back of these. I have it tucked under right now because I think that's the nicest way to have it. And I usually have the seats up rather than folded down. But if needed, I could just undo this and then they can kind of almost connect. You could actually shift this forward a little bit if you wanted when the seats are not upright, but protects the whole seat back, which is normally just carpet, as you can see, uh, and would wear not that well uh, if you were to kind of slide things in and out a lot. And then back here, so we've got this in the trunk and then you can fold this up to access your forward some trunk and that's a little strap from uh, abstract ocean that makes it a lot easier and with this cargo liner so you can see their custom fit cargo liner you also get little inserts for these side spots 
and they also sell, uh, if this wasn't so full, there's actually liners in both of the sub trunks as well. So let me see if I can see it a little easier in here. It's a little tricky with one hand, but you can see that there's a liner kind of right there. Uh, and then I also have one in the front trunk, but my front trunk is completely full, but you can just take my word for it that they fit extremely well. Uh, and I like that if anything spills, it's just contained on the mat. And then you can just pull the mat out, spray it off, whatever, clean it with whatever means necessary when it's not in your car. And just so you can see them side by side again, here's the factory carpet floor mat, which I've never used. That's why it looks so brand new, still so nice. We have the 3D mats, elegant carpet mat. So a little bit more shape, looks a little floppy here, but that's just because it doesn't have the back of it to rest against, but better to have it a little bit flopped towards where the carpet or where the structure of the vehicle will be. That way it presses against it a little bit better. Uh, and then we have the 3D mats, Kagu mat, my personal favorite. So I would say if you just want the most basic protection, well, you're probably not watching this video and those are just the factory Tesla included mats. Uh, if you want a little bit more elegant, which fitting that they would name them the elegant carpet mats, uh, kind of all weather, easier to clean, more structured protection, then the 3D mats, elegant carpet mats are a good choice, but I would caution you from using those if you're in a little bit tougher climate uh, or with winter, or potentially get both of these and swap between them. I know a couple people that have done that. Uh, they run these in the summer in Minnesota and then run these in the winter in Minnesota. Personally, I like to just run one set of mats year round. Uh, and then here we have the 3D mats Kaga mat. These are my personal favorite. I've run these in three or four different vehicles now, uh, run them for quite a long time. They wear extremely well. They clean up extremely well. Uh, they're just a personal favorite of mine. Uh, whether I was working with them or not, uh, I would still be recommending these mats and I would still be purchasing these mats because I've in fact purchased quite a few sets of these myself. Uh, and I think they're well worth the money. They protect the carpet keep it easy to clean and they just look nice. So huge fan of these over traditional all weather mats that are more rubbery. Uh, and like I mentioned, there is the discount link down below uh, and that affiliate link does help the channel. So I would appreciate if you use that link if this video helped you out. But if you haven't already hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.